Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and I am preparing for another yarn review. What? So many yarn reviews. But you guys ask and I attempted to deliver. <laughs> so today we're going to start with the Loops and Threads, the new Ombre Hughes yarn. This is, um, I opened this, it's a newer yarn from Michaels and I asked on the opening video which yarn you wanted to see reviewed first and this was the one that was requested so ombre hues is a they say it's a lightweight three they want a four millimeter knitting needle and a four millimeter crochet hook it's 75 percent polyester 25 percent acrylic it is so soft and silky that's the polyester it is either a chain spun or lightly blown yarn i am having difficulty figuring that out because there is a very light halo but it really looks chain spun to me so it's one of the two I suspect it's probably lightly blown but we move on it's um 426 yards in 5.29 ounces 390 meters and 150 grams um this one does have a note due to the unique dye process each yarn will be different colors may vary so just a little warning. Um, there is a QR code where you can scan for free patterns. It is hand wash cold, non-chlorine bleach when needed, dry flat, do not iron. Made in China. This colorway I have, wait, they've moved it. It's up here. It's by the QR code. Emerald Spearmint White. That's this colorway. I bought two colorways and this is the one we're going to try here. There we go. Focusing. It's very beautiful. Um, this is regular price $7.99. It is available only at Michael's. Um, I'm probably on Amazon. Someone's probably reselling it, let's be honest. Um, so it's $7.99 US, $9.99 Canada. Um, of course, you can always get things on sale at Michael's. So pick your sale when you want to buy it. But full price $7.99. Um, that's one of their more mid range prices for their full price yarn. So I'm not sure we are going to. We'll talk about all of those aspects during the review. This is just the intro, isn't it, Erin? It is. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I really want to make a shawl with this, but a shawl will take far too long to do for a review. But I do have two skeins of it. So I'm going to work up a, a couple of swatches for review purposes so we can yank them out, see how they frog, all of that. But look over time for me to make a larger shawl with it. I haven't picked which shawl pattern, but I am determined to start working on patterns through my binder here. So it's going to be a binder pattern. Um, I think it's going to be one of Ursula OM Granny Squares patterns because I've been wanting to get one of those going and... It sounds really fun to me. Okay, but anyway, I will, oh, or maybe, no, no, okay. I have decisions to make. Either that or a while ago, I got from Crystal the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady her Twisted Pillars knit wrap pattern, and that might be beautiful in this yarn too. Oh, decisions, decisions. You know, it's probably going to be Ursula because that was first in my head. And then, oh, but hers might look better in an um. I don't know why I'm telling you this now. This is a yarn review. Those are decisions that will be made in the future. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and we are here for another yarn review. Here we're going to be talking about the new Loops and Threads Ombre Hughes line. Um, I've already gone through the stats and all of that in the intro video and I really like this yarn. It is so soft. It is so cloud soft. Um, so in the intro video you saw me debating what I was going to make with it. I did go ahead and decide I'm going to try the Twisted Pillars Stole, which is a um, 
pattern designed by Crystal the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady. Now this pattern does ask for a one or a two weight yarn. This is listed as a three. Um, I think it's a bit of a thinner three and I'm kind of willing to, to take the chance to see what this looks like. Um, here we go. The Here's the yarn I've been working with. I have two I have two different uh, skeins of it going on here. Um, I've already worked up, uh, let's untangle here. Okay, because I've got one coming from the middle, one coming from the outside. What I have here is a crochet swatch. I've done singles, half doubles, doubles. I did some popcorn stitches and then I did just doubles on top of the popcorn stitch. Um, I had absolutely no issues working with this yarn. I thought it worked up beautifully in crochet. I had no snagging, no blowout issues. I had no problems. Um, I did get a comment from uh, Igor Knits saying she's both knit and crocheted with it and she had difficulty with the crochet splitting on her. Um, I will say I think the bobbles look nice. I think it's got good stitch definition. I am using an F four millimeter uh, crochet hook here. I believe that was the recommended one. Yeah. Um, okay. Yep. Four millimeter crochet hook. So yeah, I'm using the recommended crochet hook. I will continue this swatch a bit. Have I chained up? I have not. So chain up and let's do, what do you guys like to see? We'll do some doubles. Um, do a couple doubles here and see how it looks as I use it. I'm going to move that a little bit out of my way up here. And then my plan here, I have not started the Twisted Pillars stole yet. I'm going to just rip out the samples I'm making so we can see the frog ability and um, go from there. And then I will just start that project and you'll probably see that project made on my uh, weekly roundup videos when I get to it, of course, because I like to cast on projects and I need to be better about that. <laughs> um, so here we go. I am, as you can see, having no issues here with it crocheting in it, but I also have absolutely no reason to doubt um, her experiences in using it. Sorry, I know your first name, but I know you don't use your first name on YouTube, so I don't want to say it. <laughs> That's why I had to pause there, in case you're wondering. Um, oops, I missed that. So normally with a three weight yarn, I keep missing that loop, um, I actually prefer to crochet with a five millimeter crochet hook. I think that creates a absolutely lovely drapey fabric. Um, but I think the fabric, this four millimeter is creating is very, very nice as well. Um, one thing, the metal hooks here, I am having, because it's polyester and so soft and slidey, I am finding it to be very, very slick. Um, you might if you like wood hooks, that might be a little better to use with this yarn, so it's not quite so um, so slidey on you. Oh, oh, frog ability, frog, frog, we're having a frog issue. So there is a slight halo on this yarn, and I think that's what we got caught up on. Yeah, I broke the halo with my fingernail there, and we are back. Oh no. Oh no. We have another frog. Okay. So in this, in deconstructing, again there, I, oop, 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 oop. Okay. From what I'm seeing, it does look like this is all the little bit of halo catching on itself. Is that a halo issue or is that something else? Nope. That's a halo issue. Break it with the fingernail and move it on. There we go. I am, ooh, okay, so frogging. This is perhaps not a frog friendly yarn. I think when I first saw this, I was like, oh, that's not much of a halo. That's not gonna be a problem. Well, 
here we go we have another issue oh okay and so here can you s oh I didn't zoom in so this is why I'm saying it's a halo issue because you can see the whole yarn there and it's just like it looks like it's an invisibly connected so I just break that with my fingernail and we move on okay so we're having a lot of frogging issues this is not a frog friendly yarn this is not something I would have anticipated here okay like I said the it looks like a chain spun maybe a slightly blown yarn but I did not think we were gonna have an issue like this at all with the um, with the frogging so always good to do a frog check here we are deconstructing some half doubles we're on to the second row of half doubles okay so less issue with the half doubles we're having issues with the um, popcorns and the doubles and now here's the singles and we've run into the first problem with the singles there we go we got another one oh, let's see what we doing here yep it's all halo it's all the halo okay interesting excuse me Oh, and now we have an issue with the chain. Come on, chain. Oh, I'm not going to have to cut you out. Don't make me cut you out. We've made it so far. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if I can call this a halo issue. Oh, I can't get that out. Okay. Okay, I give up. We're cutting it out. Okay, so frogability. Not, not frogable. Not good. I'm going to just shove that back into the center. That's going to be a headache for Aaron in the future. Um, but I did quite like the fabric the 4mm hook created. I thought it was a good, a good suggestion for that yarn. And yeah quite liked it here is my knit sample this is um i'm working off the outside of the bar or bar out of the offside of the skein i'm using my chow goo interchangeable needles um they are the five and a half inch stainless steel tips again at the beginning here i had some slippy problems i think it's the the steel needles with the softness and silkiness of this yarn but I had no issues with the yarn itself in the knit, it, like splitting or anything like that while knitting with it. I'll just show you real quick some knit. Um, so <clears throat> we went through the stats already, but this is full price $7.99. Always get it on sale. That's US, US dollars. Um, of course, we know Michaels has so many ways to get discounts, and you just wait for the discount that appeals to you. Right now, as of filming, it, they have a buy one, get one 50% off, which will translate to a 25% discount on your yarns. Um, of course, you can mix, mix and match that, so that's always nice. And then I'll do some pearls, but not too many. I love this yarn. I think it's so soft. I think it's so airy. I think it's so pretty. I think it's going to make lovely spring summer items. As I said, I'm going to make that kind of rectang rectangle stole shawl. And I have another colorway of this. I would love to make bingo a wearable, whether or not that's a little... I, I'm picturing a tank dress in my head, but it might just end up being some sort of tunic depending on how much yarn I have. I don't recall if I bought two or three in the purpley colorway. Um, 
I of course just have the two of this green colorway for my experiment or for my shawl um, but there we go this is beautiful this is beautiful um they've got a lot of very beautiful colorways um uh, most of them are in the pastel lighter colors so if you are looking for vibrant vibrant colors you're not going to find them here um I think Easter palette, spring Easter palette. Uh, let's take this off and pull it out. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, and I'm having no frogging issues whatsoever on the knit. There you go, clean pull. Uh, so that's interesting. Maybe not, because with the crochet, you do so much more looping, and I think that gives the halo that much more opportunity to grip in upon itself. Um, put your dress back on, see if we can. Although I don't know why we're putting the dress back on, because I'm just going to start using this one again soon. Um, well, hopefully soon. There we go. Um, not the prettiest, but whatevs. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on this yarn? It's beautiful. I love it. I think it's going to be a great spring-summer yarn. Um, I think it's more suited to wearables. Um, I know Angela from My Precious Yarnery bought a bunch of it and is looking to make a blanket. I can't wait to watch her journey on that and see how the blanket comes out because let's put the prettier one out there we go um <laughs> to see how how that blanket comes out because it could be just such a lovely lovely light little blanket for her um i like i said in the past i have a desire to make a cotton blanket um i'm not sure if i would want a polyester blanket with this but i think it's a lovely lovely idea and i like i said i'm very curious to watch her journey and creating that um i'm impressed with this yarn i am surprised by the frogging issues in the crochet swatch and i think i have to ding that ding the yarn a bit for that because it's it's an issue that you might have with crocheting. You certainly saw me experience it. Um, like I said, I have not personally had any problems with this yarn splitting, but I have had reports of it. So something to think about and consider if you're using it. Um, just trying to give you a different view of the yarn because it's so pretty. This one has a little bit more of the darker in it. Um, yeah, I'm, I am impressed. I am excited. I think it'll make lovely, lovely shawls, lovely wearables. I am very excited to make this stole because I've had the pattern for a while. I believe I purchased it from her when she first released it, um, which was last 2023. Um, I am slightly stalling here. The, okay, $7.99 value. I think given current yarn prices that's probably a good value you're getting 400 and some odd yards right of a three weight yarn 426 yards in a 5.3 ounce ball that's that's a good amount of yardage um of course in a thinner yarn it doesn't take you quite as far as you would think but that's a that's a good yardage um Oh no. So how do you rate this? It, I, to me, it has specific uses. It's not a universally useful yarn. You can't, you're not going to make household items out of this. You're not going to make baskets. You're not going to make pillow covers. This isn't suitable for washcloths or anything like that, home items. This is, to me, a wearable yarn, and maybe a blanket yarn. Like I said, I'm very curious to see Angela's um, journey there with it as a blanket yarn. The, uh... 
Ugh, what do we say here? What do we think? Because the yarn has limited usage, and because of the frogging, I, that, that was a tough frog with the crochet. I gotta say, the frog ability is... I'm going to give it a below average frog ability because, because of the crochet struggles. Knitting, it was fine. So I'm going to say frog ability is probably a four kitty paw out of ten. Um, to me, five is average. Five is average. Um, but that was a lot of, a lot of halo bits I had to break with my fingernails there. And then as you saw, I had to clip it at the end. Um, hmm. I want to give it a high score, but there's been enough here to ding it that I don't think I can give it a, very, a super high score. So I'm going to go ahead and give this... I still think overall it's going to be an above average yarn. It is so soft. It is so pretty. I, I can see so... In my mind's eye, I can see so many beautiful shawls, tops, um, items made from it. I, th I think they're going to be lovely, and I think they're going to be enjoyable... I do fear with the with the halo with the frogging issues it might have a um a pilling issue in the future. How do we rate that? Okay, I'm gonna give it a six. A six out of ten kitty paws. And as I said, the three things dinging against it, the frogging issues. I do fear it's going to have some pilling. It has limited usage. This isn't a multi... This isn't a workhorse yarn. This isn't a multi-use yarn. This is a yarn you would get for a specific purpose. It's not going to be good for everything. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say six, but that doesn't... I don't know. I'm somehow unsatisfied with that. Which is weird to say because it is me making the decision to call it a six. But I think we have to respect the struggles that you saw, especially with the frogging and and that. So, okay, there you go. Six out of ten, but I still love it. And I am so excited to make this stole with it. I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Okay. I will go ahead and talk to you guys later. Please let me know if you've used this and if you've had different experiences. I would love to hear about it. I would absolutely love to hear about it. Okay, talk to you later. Bye!